Hey everyone, it's Eddie Sanchez and I'm back with more information for you young creatives out there. So today I wanna talk about plot. I'll try to keep it as simple as possible, okay? So Ian Forrester um, explained plot this way. The king died and the queen died. That is story. The king died and the queen died of grief. That is plot. Now, what is the difference? Cause and effect, right? So the king died, the queen is, you know, she, she dies from grief, right? So that's that's the simplest way, you know, to explain it. You know, a plot is a sequence of events. Now, it's like a domino effect, right? They all, they all have to be interconnected. This happens, so this happens. You know, that's why it's so important um, when you're writing for structure uh, purposes, if you do an outline, right, then you, your dominoes will make sense, right? So this happened, so this happens, and that and that happens, okay? Um, I'll give you a quick example. So in the old Spider-Man, <laughs> Tobey Maguire, um, I mean, it's, you know, Spider-Man, it's just, just the same story, right? So he's a normal teen, and he's living a life. He likes his girl. She doesn't like him. No, I'm kidding. She, she might like him. I don't know. He's a dork. But he never asked her out because he's scared, right? Anyway, so then he gets bit by a radioactive spider and life changes. That's the inciting incident, right? So before he was a normal teen, nervous, scared to talk to the girl. And I mean, after that, he's still scared to talk to the girl, but but he's strong now. He's Spider-Man. Anyway, so he gets bit by a radioactive Spider-Man, uh, spider, excuse me, and, and then things change, right? Then he becomes Spider-Man. Slowly, not immediately, right? He has to learn about his new power and kind of learn with him. And that's kind of that's kind of you know why we like Spider-Man so much. I, I like the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man because I was like, wow, that could be me uh, getting bit by a radioactive spider and getting powers and all this stuff, right? So we can relate to the hero. He's likable again, but it makes sense. The plot is it, it's not completely like left field, right? He wasn't this strong guy. It, it, it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like ironic, right? So this dorky guy, right? Gets bit by a radioactive spider. And then all of a sudden, like he has to become this hero. So the change, right? Um, and then it doesn't stop there, right? It's a chain of events, right? So then he's discovering his powers, right? Um, somebody robs the place that he's, he's, uh, he enters his contest to get money. Somebody robs that place. He lets him go. Hey, it's not my problem. The guy he lets go kills his uncle Ben. And then he realizes it like, oh my God, I let him go. So, so again, so everything is interconnected. You know, that is a good plot because everything is interconnected. And that's why we like uh, Spider-Man so much. It's a, it's a solid story. The plot, it, it, you know, it's a good plot, right? Again, sequence of events. They're connected. They they affect each other, you know? His uncle died, you know, uh, responsibility and all that stuff. You, know? <laughs> you guys know the story. But it has to make sense in order for you to have a good plot, in order for you to have a good story overall. If you guys have any questions, uh, drop them down below. Um, I'm going to leave some... Um, some information, some links that will really give you information on how to, you know, about plot and, you know, how to build, you know, your own story, <laughs> your great story. Uh, as always, drop a comment. If you have any questions, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.